how to help fish and wildlife along the shore. In Wisconsin, our lakes and streams are great places. We enjoy good times fishing, swimming, and playing in the water. Water runs downhill, so what we do on the land affects everything in the water, fish, frogs, and people. Lakes and streams in Wisconsin belong to all of the people in Wisconsin, not just the people who live along the shore. So we have rules to help us share and protect them. They're called shoreland zoning rules. Shoreland zoning rules tell us that new homes and driveways have to be built far back from the shore and not too big, so there's room for trees and bushes along the shoreline. The trees and bushes keep the water clean and unpolluted and provide homes for frogs, birds, and fish. If we didn't have shoreland zoning rules, people could pollute lakes or streams by removing trees and bushes, causing soil to wash into the water. Soil washing in causes algae growth that makes the water green, slimy, and sometimes unsafe to swim in. It also results in fewer frogs, fish, and other animals. If homes, driveways, or other hard surfaces are built large or close to the shore, water can't soak in, so it runs into the lake, carrying soil and other pollutants with it. Soil in the water makes it hard for fish that hunt by sight to catch their lunch. The soil also covers fish eggs. The eggs don't get enough oxygen, so they don't hatch. Lawns also attract geese, which poop and cause more algae. What do shoreland zoning rules do? They give us more trees and bushes along the shoreline, more fish and more frogs, good swimming and fishing. Shoreland zoning rules protect our lakes and streams for everyone, now and in the future.